Hi everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. Philippe Briand has contributed a new exciting project to OpenNTF called the XPages Bazaar. Phil describes the project briefly here in the documentation. Essentially, the Bazaar is a library of unrelated features from which you can pick the ones you are interested in. As always, you can either use these features in your own apps or use them as education material to learn how to build these sophisticated functions. The project is provided as is, without support. Let's take a closer look. The project comes with one extension library and two demo databases. The databases show two core pieces of new functionality. First of all, the markup interpreter, and the second is the or other dynamic lists. So let's start with the interpreter. The interpreter allows executing dynamic XPages source code. As you know, usually developers use Domino Designer to write XPages code, which is then made persistent in Node's databases. Dynamic source code is code that you can define ad hoc and don't have to store in NSFs first before you can execute it. The simple test app here shows this. It's essentially the core of a very stripped down designer tool. So let's take a look how it works. Here I can load some sample code but I could also type in my own code. The sample code that is available is um, Hello World and Complex Page. So let's start with Hello World. This is really the exact same X page source code that you could also implement uh, using Domino Designer. And now I can execute it directly from here without having to make it persistent first in the NSF. Now to make it a little bit more interesting, I choose the next sample here, Complex Page and I can directly execute it here again and there is um, more controls being used here and in order to show you this that this is actually live I'm gonna pick one of these labels here if I find it this one here label not rendered where the attribute rendered is set to false so I change this here to true and then I invoke it again and my new label um, just showed up here so this actually works and is live. Now, the same sample here also shows how to use a tree navigator, a dynamic content control, where you can switch between the facets, view panel, custom controls. And I wanna show next how you can do this here in the source code. And um, just to summarize that it's the exact same code, um, source code that you would write in designer. So the first one here is the um, tab, tab panel dynamic content and as you would expect the dynamic content control from the extension library is used here as well as actions like this one um, to switch between the different facets. Then the next example here is the view panel. Um, so you can display views as you can do it on regular X pages that are stored in NSFs. So here you use again the standard domino view data source and then you bind it to the different view columns. And last but not least, this example here shows how you can use custom controls that are actually stored in the NSF. So that shows how you can do a mix and match of XPages code that you define on the fly with existing design elements and NSFs. In addition to the sample application in the Bazaar database, there is another sample application called the XPages Playground. Now, the XPages, XPages Playground also allows executing XPages source code on the fly, but it comes with additional functionality to manage code snippets. For example, I can choose um, my sample here from the left navigator, which is again the Hello World example, and I can again preview it directly. And I can also add my own snippets here. So let's go back to this example, copy the source code and say new snippet and I can paste it in here and when I preview I get an error now which tells me that the custom control custom one cannot be found because that is a control that resides in another database. So I need to delete this part of the sample and then when I say preview it actually works. Now I can save the snippet and can assign it to a category. My samples and my first sample. 
and then it shows up here in the left navigator. I can also sort now by author and I have a list here with only my snippets in there. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, there is two big pieces of functionality available in the bazaar as of now. The first one is the interpreter, which I just demonstrated. The second one is called lists. Now, lists are essentially domino views and documents that end users can defy, define on the fly. In other words, without having to use Domino Designer. Let me give you an example here. I can go to Design Lists and I start to um, create a new list here, which I call Tasks. And then I've essentially created something similar to a view. And now I can define essentially fields in notes documents. So I can say for my task objects, I need first of all a description and I want to type text. Then I need something like an owner. Again, I want to type text and I need a due date, which should be a date type. And I can also choose here which of these fields essentially I want to add to my view. And I just pick all of them for the purpose of this demo. I can also choose which ones I want to sort, in which order they should appear in the view, etc. So now I can save it and go back to the runtime UI. And here my new list shows up. I can say uh, tasks. And now I can create documents in this tasks list on the fly. So I can say description, do one, owner, Niklas, due date, something, and then I save it and I can repeat it. I can say do two, owner again is Niklas, and again a due date. So that's as easy it is to define dynamic, essentially dynamic views and documents in Notes Domino terminology on the fly using a simple web browser. And I could well imagine to embed that piece of functionality in an iWidget and make it available to IBM Connections, for example, in communities for IBM Connections. So that's a quick overview of the XPages Bazaar. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.